Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take a new poem for you from your textbook First Flight. The name of the poem is The Bowl Poem. It's written by John Berryman. First let me tell you about the poet. He was an American poet, scholar and a professor. He was a major figure in American poetry in the second half of the 20th century. His best known work is The Dream Songs which is an intensely personal sequence of 385 poems. He won Pulitzer Prize for The Dream Songs. He also won National Book Award. Through the bold poem, John Berryman has described the reality of life which everyone has to face one day. He has touched the topic of have to stand up against the miseries and sorrows of life first let me read the poem what is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is it to do i saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over the it is in the water in this poem The poet is beautifully describing a boy who has lost his ball. What is the boy now? So the poet is trying to understand what is the reaction of the boy who has lost his ball and what is the condition of that boy. What is he to do? So the poet is trying to say here that here He is asking himself what the boy is going to do after he has lost the ball. I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over. There it is in the water. The poet says that he has seen the ball going away from the boy. And the ball was actually lost when the boy was playing with it. What is the meaning of bouncing? it's jumping up and down so when the boy was playing with the ball it just fell off from his hand and cheerfully here merely means cheerfully it bounced up and down the street and fell into the water so here when we look into the peripheral level it's just a ball and the boy who is playing with that ball and the ball just fell into the water so here when we look into the internal part of this poem the memories that the boy have when he was playing with that particular ball he can never get it back the memories that the boy have when he was playing with that particular ball he can never get it back maybe his childhood memories and this ball here actually symbolizes the innocent childhood of the boy which has skipped away from him and he wants it back and the poetic devices used here you can see here you can see what the words are repeated so we can say that is repetition and another poetic device here the poet used is can you say two words the first two word okay what here also what us repeated first can you see first line also what us repeated first and second line also the same so what is uh, this poetic device this poetic device is anaphora and i what is anaphora you have already studied i think so okay anaphora and what is anaphora it is a repetition of a word or expression at the beginning of two or more consecutive lines okay here first we can see uh, the beginning word is repeated here also the beginning word is okay so uh, same what so here we can say the poet used here anaphora 
What is anaphora? Repetition of a word or expression at the beginning of two or more consecutive lines. No use to say, oh, there are other balls. An ultimate shaking grip fixes the boy as he stands rigid, trembling, staring down. All his young days into the harbour where his ball went. Here the poet says that no use to say of there are other balls because he feels that it's not going to be of any use by consoling the boy by saying that he will get many other balls because he may have many other balls but he may be so attached to this ball and he was very sad also because of losing that ball. So an ultimate shaking, an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy. What is the meaning of grief? It means sorrow. So it says that the boy is very sad because he is too attached to this ball and but he has lost to that particular ball. That's why he is emotionally shaken at the loss of this ball. As he stands rigid, trembling, staring down, all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. So here, what is the meaning of rigid? It means fixed. And what is the meaning of trembling? Trembling means shaking. So it's just standing there, fixed to, to that spot where he has lost his ball. So it's completely surrounded by grief or sorrow because he has lost his ball. And so many memories may be attached with that ball in his childhood days. So the thought that, the, that he lost the ball strikes him and he is grief stricken when he understands that he cannot get that ball back. I would not intrude on him. A dime, another ball is worthless. Now he senses First, a responsibility in a world of possessions. So, the poet says that I would not intrude on him. Here, the poet is trying to say that he doesn't want to go and interfere in the matter of the boy. He's not going to consult the boy. You can see here, dime. It's dime. Is a, it's very easy to tell him that. I'll buy an another ball for you. But it is worthless. Yes, he, he says that a dime another ball is worthless. It's very easy to tell him that I'll buy or I'll purchase an another ball for you. And it may cost only a dime. Dime is 10 cents in US. Kids currents used in US. With this time, he can buy another ball for the boy. But this new ball would not substitute the lost ball. So the poet says that trying to console him by saying that I'll get you another ball is worthless. And here the poet wants the boy to experience the loss. He should learn that it's a part of our life. And that is why he doesn't want to offer him money to buy another ball. Now he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions. So here the poet is trying to tell us that the boy for the first time in his life is sensing responsibility. Actually what is being responsible? It's taking care of one's belongings. So here the boy understands that in life we are bound to lose many things. And we are supposed to be taking care of our things and not lose them. So the boy is going to learn how to be responsible. And a realization of responsibility done for the boy when he loses the ball. And further the poet says that the time has come for the boy to learn the responsibility of taking care of things. And here the poet uses a word of possessions. And actually, what is world of possession? It's actually the materialistic world. 
and what is materialistic world a world where people are running after materialistic needs and so the people in this world is obsessively focused on money or cares deeply about owning luxury goods they can be described as materialistic the poetic device used by the poet here is ball you can see ball is repeated many times so the poetic device used here is repetition okay people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back so here the poet says that he compares balls to the materialistic things and he has personified balls to the belongings or materials of man and he here the poet is giving a very important lesson he tries to say the boy that loss is a part of life he'll buy a lot of things at the same time he'll also be losing them that is life and no one buys a ball back when you lose something it's not that money cannot buy you everything here the boy is learning what it means to lose something in the world of possessions but he would never be able to buy back the thing that he had lost the boy says that money is external and he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss have to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days have to stand up so why the past is that money is external no one can buy something that is lost forever and no one can buy that very ball which he has lost because money is an external thing it's a medium of possess- possessing things and why money is external because it cannot buy memories nor it can replace the things that we love the things that really matter so money cannot compensate for the sense of loss suffered by a person so why the poet says that money is external as it can't buy things lost for ever and money cannot buy back the sweet memories of childhood that attach with the ball and money cannot buy lost dreams and lost feelings and money cannot compensate internal or emotional losses suffered by us money is external to such losses he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss and why his eyes are desperate because he has lost all the hope of getting his ball back and he has lost his ball he is is standing there and looking at it and feeling hopeless now he is learning what is loss and he is learning the real truth that life is made of loss as well as and you have to accept this so you have to accept this in your life and you have to stand up again this many things are learned by the boy so now he is learning what is loss and the life is made up of losses and we should accept this fact or this thing in our life and we have to stand up again he is learning the epistemology of loss and how to stand up so what is epistemology of loss it is actually the knowledge of loss what is epistemology of loss it's understanding the nature of loss what it means to lose something so he is trying to understand what is loss and how to stand up against the loss and what is the meaning of standing up against loss 
it's actually overcoming the loss and moving on in life knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days have to stand up the boy here says that from the loss of the ball the boy is learning have to stand up in a world of possessions and the boy is learning what it means to lose something and the poet says that knowing that every man has to stand up after such losses the boy too will learn how to cope up with the loss and leave the losses behind as he would have understood the true meaning and nature of loss in this poem the boy says that it's important for everyone to experience to accept the loss and be bold and get on with life staying strong is the only way to survive one should understand that the past is gone and will never come back sometimes loss helps us in growing up and we are able to face hardships we also learn to accept and let go and do not stick to something which we cannot have in in the poem a little boy lost his only proud possession that is his ball he is learning what us like experiencing grief when he loses a much beloved possession his ball and is deeply grieved due to the loss and the boy too feels that it's no it's not used to purchase another ball he must feel his responsibility of the loss the poet makes the boy understand about his responsibilities as the loss is immaterial money is external as it cannot buy memories nor can it replace the things that we love and the things that really matter Thank you all.